Thank you, Hetty. And we also have some additional details tonight on a former UCLA lecturer who's accused of making threats about a shooting on that campus. NBC News has now learned that there was, in fact, a restraining order against the man for making death threats last year. Robert Kavasik has more now on that restraining order and how the manhunt ended in Colorado. Robert. Chuck, that restraining order filed last year by the UC Regents. They are the governing body of the entire UC system. To give you a brief timeline of what's gone on here, last night at 11, we brought this to you as breaking news, UCLA acknowledging a disturbing email and post sent to some members of the UCLA community. Out-of-state authorities and federal agencies had been contacted. Then, before midnight last night, UCLA announcing that all classes this Tuesday would go online. And then things move swiftly to try and find the former UCLA researcher who was allegedly responsible. Tonight, UCLA students can prepare to go back to class tomorrow. I'm definitely relieved that he was arrested. Now that a former UCLA academic has been taken into custody, authorities say Matthew Harris, a postdoctoral fellow in the philosophy department, posted an online 800 page manifesto threatening a mass shooting on the Westwood campus. Tonight, NBC News investigative unit has learned the UC Regents had taken out a restraining order against Harris last May after he allegedly emailed death threats to colleagues, referencing the Sandy Hook Elementary School massacre and Christopher Dorner, the former LAPD officer responsible for a Southern California killing spree in 2013. This morning, a police SWAT team in Boulder, Colorado, surrounded an apartment building where Harris was living, a nearby elementary school, and nearby homes evacuated while they negotiated with him. Several hours later, the standoff ended, and 31-year-old Matthew Christopher Harris was taken into custody. The Colorado DA says Harris tried to purchase a handgun late last year, but he was turned away because of a restraining order filed against him in California. Harris remains in custody tonight. It's still not immediately clear if he will be charged in federal or state court in Colorado. And once again, Colleen, classes are back in person here at UCLA tomorrow. And that's where we're live tonight. I'm Robert Kavasik. Let's go back to you.